I think that that big blue, we live it. We live it every day. We wear it on our shirt, wear it on our sleeve, so to speak. And we try and do exactly what it is we say we do, which is pure adventure, pure excitement, and 100% natural. Get out there and enjoy it. You know, we've only got this life. So let's enjoy it, but let's not take. Let's just not keep taking, give back. And try and reduce the impact that we have out there. I mean, that's a huge part that people maybe don't realize that makes us who we are. We really want to try and leave only footprints in the sand, so to speak, once they get washed away with time. So we have a whole variety of different activities. Just the scuba diving and snorkeling really introduce people to the coral reef world, to the underwater world. And then we like to make that very educational, small groups, low impact, very enjoyable. And then of course, on top of the water, using paddle boards and kayaks, not only are they fun activities, but they're also a means to an end. And there's a transport that we use to get into shallow wetland areas. When it's windy, people love to go kiteboarding on the calmer days. It's great to get out there and do some kayaking or some paddleboarding. It's a nice, low pollution, noise free, impact free method to access that kind of world. And it gives you a really first hand view of the marine life and the bird life, and of course the plant, the mangroves themselves, up inside those areas. We even get people coming down who aren't really into the ocean, but they love being around the ocean and seeing it. So we still do land tours. And that's why we go to North and Middle Caicos. We take people off the beaten path, bring them into the local community, show them the history and the culture. And so for those people who like being in the islands but don't particularly like being on the water, they still get a sense of what island life is about and can appreciate it for what it is. We also use bikes over on the islands and we go and enjoy meals in people's homes or go and have tea to interact with people on that front. It's a very interesting way to learn about the local way of life where people are still living off the land, living off the sea. They walk a lot, they're energetic. It's certainly not uncommon to meet people who are in their 90s, even in their hundreds over on those islands. And that's something pretty admirable, something to, uh, something to aspire to perhaps. Different times of the year provide different types of encounters. So we have whales during the whale season, good wind during the summer, and we have amazing water clarity. So you always get the chance to, to actually see what you're looking for. And when you have a good encounter on the water, it's, it's usually pretty magical. And in order to get people to have a relationship with that environment, you need to expose them to many different platforms in order for them to have that relationship. That's always a challenge because you need to be ready a lot of the time to, to enjoy those moments. Our philosophy at Big Blue has always been educational, low impact and meaningful. We really want people to really enjoy their experiences but learn about what they're looking at and appreciate why a healthy environment and a sustainable environment is not only important to the Turks and Caicos but of course important to, to the planet as well. We can achieve the unattainable, or that dream, or that moment. It might be, I want to swim with dolphins in the wild. We can do that. We don't guarantee it. But what we do guarantee is trying to make it happen when the opportunity arises. All we ask from our guests and our friends is to be ready and to accept that now is the moment. It's not going to happen tomorrow, or it's not going to happen when you want it to happen. It happens because it's just been delivered to you in a way that is almost divine, so take it when you can.